If you were infected by the coronavirus and then received an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine, you may have what's been dubbed superhuman immunity to the virus. That's according to a new study released by scientists at Rockefeller University. What we find with this immunity that's conferred by infection and vaccination is that it's at a significantly higher level than immunity that's conferred either by infection alone or by vaccination alone. The study looked at the antibodies of 14 people who had all been infected with SARS-CoV-2 and then vaccinated with one of two mRNA vaccines, one made by Pfizer, the other by Moderna. Their antibodies, as well as being at a very high level, they also have what we call breadth. That is, they are able to neutralize uh, mutants of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, uh, including those that are circulating in the so-called variants of concern, such as Alpha, Delta, and, and others. Angelica Shamarina could be one of the lucky ones with turbocharged immunity. She was infected with the virus in December 2020. Five months later, she was vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine. I didn't know I was infected because my symptoms were so mild until I took a test. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad this happened now, yes, because, because of this possible um, better immunity. Shamarina doesn't know for sure that she has heightened immunity because the study only included a few patients. But the data is promising. All 14 individuals in the study had this enhanced virus fighting protection. Scientists say others who were infected and then vaccinated with a non-mRNA vaccine may also have super immunity. Shamarina is understandably delighted with the new report, but what does it mean for the rest of us who may not have been infected with the virus before being vaccinated? Do we have zero chance at achieving so-called super immunity? Not necessarily, says B. Nash. He and other scientists are now looking at the impact of booster shots on people who are fully vaccinated but were never infected with the virus. Thus far, it seems to be partially true that a third booster can, to some degree, mimic the effect of first being infected and then being vaccinated. As the U.S. engages in a controversial debate on booster shots, Binash says the data so far shows that eventually it could be in everyone's interest to get a third shot to maximize the potential of our immune systems. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.